So let's do it. Hello there. Hello there. You must be our visiting wizard. Welcome <laughs> to Pigswick Academy. Hmm. I'll need to see your Ravenwood ring. Just a formality, of course. A ring, ring. I don't you think show Mrs. Dowers the ring Mr. Lincoln gave you. Mm -hmm. She inspects it and hands it back. Excellent. Be sure to put that somewhere safe. What's so funny, huh, Mrs. Dowager? You're here, of course, to build a sense of community between the different magic schools. Oh, I love that part, and too. And to try to win the Spiral Cup. Yay! Go to the tournament hall to take a look at it. Then, speak to Benedict Glendimming. He is both Master of Arms and our judge. Uh-huh. You will probably need to demonstrate your skills in a qualifying match. Ooh. So be on the ready. When you've passed the qualifying round, return to me and we'll get you sorted out. How exciting! You inspect the Spiral Cup, the greatest prize in all the Spiral. It looks like it's been here a while. <laughs> yeah. God, look at the chandeliers. I just love this place so much. Greetings, visitor. I am Benedict Glendeming. Master of Arms of Pigswick Academy. For years I have taught magic and dueling. With my training, Pigswick students have won the Spiral Cup again and again. I am also the judge of this fine competition. My decisions are as fair as they are <laughs> final. You come from Wizard City, no? You have my sympathy. Let us see if that charlatan Diego has taught you anything of worth. I mean, you do have better hair than him, that is 100% sure. To qualify for the tournament, you must step into the Chamber of the Basilisk, right. if you will. And defeat Blaze <coughs> Flame Render. By the way, the one behind him, that would be Monsieur Pigswick. There is no shame in defeat, so do not feel too badly if you do not succeed. Perhaps next year, no? Yeah, right. <laughs> That's what you think, Stinker. Bunny says Basilisk, well, but it's well, clearly a salamander. Well. A wizard of Ravenwood, huh? I'll go easy on ya. How dare you? Um, are you ready? You're fine. <gasps> he now has Savage Paw. Oh, oh, it's the people cheering in the background. I forgot about that. Okay. So, we're... Well, we're doing good. I know, you're gonna cheat. You always cheat, you cheaters. Cheater banditer. I love you, Spiritual Tribunal, but your sound is horrible. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I really am. Ah, there we go. I want to give him accuracy just in case I don't have him to fizzle and take even longer. Because after this, I think, except for going in and talking to the uh, professors, I think that they pretty much stay together and all this stuff. It's a really, really quick world. Let's see how fast we can finish it. Ha <laughs> ha, die, stinker. Wow. Go and tell Master Glendamit that you won the duel. I wasn't expecting much, but you certainly showed me a thing or two. So Diego has stepped up his game, no? Very well, then. You will not be going home just yet. The tournament consists of four rounds of duels, each round against a rival school. You must win each duel to proceed. See Mrs. Dowager outside. She will see to your accommodations within the student dormitory. Good for you. It's been you so, so long since a Ravenwood student competed. I was worried they'd given up teaching magic there. <gasps> oh, now that we've determined you'll be staying to compete in the tournament, it's time to get you squared away. You should report to the student dormitory. There you can meet the students you will be matched against and introduce yourself. You'll be sharing quarters with Beatrice Wildwind, mm -hmm. Kisai Shugenja, Nalia Doonstrider, and uh, Randolph Spellshine. You should no. also take the opportunity to put your Ravenwood class ring away. There's a small dresser. It should be safe there. Uh-huh. Hello. It's nice to meet you. I'm Beatrice Oh, good that he Barton got dragged. From Weirwood. I look forward to crossing spells <laughs> with you. Good luck. Greetings, my fellow wizard. Oh, nope. Please allow me to present myself. Kizai Shugenja, representing Mushu in this tournament. I have longed to pit my magical skills against one of the Ravenwood school wizards. So this is fortuitous indeed. No, you do. It's a pleasure Strider. to meet you, student of Ravenwood. I am called Nalia Doonstrider, and I come from a place called Mirage. I am unsurprised you have never heard of my world. It is a subtle place. An oasis in a desert of mystery. You know, I wouldn't actually call Mirage very subtle, honestly. <laughs> it's, it's quite a... Look at me! 
Perhaps Just saying. we will speak more before the tournament. Shady realtor. You're the wizard city <laughs> representative. Hmm. Yeah, the tournament has really the, 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 lowered its standards like this time afterwards. around, I suppose. Mm. You don't think you have a chance of winning, do you? Oh. The Spiral Cup isn't going anywhere, and I'll be the one to win it. Sure, sure, sure. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. Let's put our ring away. Like the fools we are. Yeah, just a little thingy. You place the Ravenwood class ring in the dresser. It should be safe here. You should report mm. back to Mrs. Mm. Dowager. I trust you. Let's remember, no they're like, you gotta use traps, in. and you gotta use this, and you gotta use that. It's time you met the headmistress of Pigswick Academy, <laughs> Belladonna Crisp. Crisp. She makes a point of meeting <laughs> all students. Please go to well, the headmistress. That kind of makes sense, doesn't it? <laughs> Please don't be late. She's a strong believer in discipline. Bow, chicka, bow, bow. I've been waiting. What well, kept you? I suppose you've been welcomed you summon by me? Mrs. Dowager and passed Benedict's test, so let's dispense with the formalities. I'm not sure what claptrap and nonsense they fill your head with at Ravenwood, but at Pigswick Academy, we study real magic. The first order of business will be for you to go and meet the professors here. They're a top-notch group, without exception. <sighs> I hope they can straighten out some of the foolishness Ambrose and his cronies may have passed along. The classrooms are located throughout the city. You should speak to everyone in whatever order you Tomorrow it's supposed to be 97. Wow. They are as follows. Professor Thaddeus Price, who teaches Tempest magic. The Earth Professor is our <laughs> very own Chester Drawls. Chester Drawls. Ember magic is taught by Professor Anku. Edna Fuligan teaches spirit, Fuligan. and chaos is Hieronymus Bonch. Rounding out our faculty are Quentin Burble teaching frost <laughs> magic, and Velma Pepper in the Equilibrium classroom. Um, you look confused. You don't know those schools of magic. Speak to our faculty. Perhaps they can help. Just because they all have the to be school of Earth uh, magic, young wizard. alone. From the look of the soil on your boots, you're from Wizard City, right? I am Professor Drawers. Well, Chester Drawers. Wednesday, what? cold weather does get eh, much Why are weaker. You smirking? At any rate, I know what a Chester Drawers is. I teach Earth but... <laughs> magic here at Pigswick Academy. Magic you know. of ground, growth, and the untamed wild. Mm-hmm. As in the original Wisteria. Because my school is that of the Earth. I find it stifling to teach inside, exactly. so I lecture outside whenever possible. I feel you, I feel you. Other schools teach flights of fancy and arcane manipulation of ethereal flummery, but earth magic is the magic <laughs> of the real. Ooh, ethereal flummery. From earth came all things, and eventually all wow. shall return to its clutches. Wow. Unless you have further questions, <laughs> I really must return to my duties. So many papers to grade. Well, look at how classy. And I don't think that we saw these yet. I don't think we saw a Yeti before, you know, by this time of our Hello wizard's there. level. Did I surprise you? <laughs> I'll wager your thinking. Oh, is that a Yeti teaching? I'd never expect that. <laughs> Chaos. That's the sort of thing I teach here. <laughs> I am Professor Hieronymus Bunch, and Chaos Magic is my school of specialization. Mm -hmm. Chaos is the magic of the unexpected, there, the unusual, the unpredictable. Anything <laughs> and everything you can imagine can be found in chaos, except order. Order is boring. You don't want to find that. <laughs> we'll talk more later, I'm sure. Or am I? Or am I? You're so funny. Well, hello there, my little friend. <laughs> what brings you here? I like you that they have unexpected voices, magic? too. You should talk to someone who knows then. Oh, <laughs> that would be me. Caught me off guard, you did. Right. Where was I? I am Professor Quentin Purple at your service. You may have surmised that I am not from around these parts. I wish that he got uh, upgraded when they upgraded the rest of the gobblers. Just saying. Ah, oh, gross. I, I forgot he eats his Academy earwax. Students about the nature of Blech. frost. Frost is fleeting. Now and you notice quick, that he doesn't say where he's from. Fragile and delicate. He just says thing. I'm not from around here. Mm-hmm. It appears rarely, but when it does, it forms crystals of <laughs> amazing beauty and complexity. Frost is like magic in that. Okay. Do you understand <laughs> frost magic now? Because I'm afraid I don't know more than that. I'm behind in my lesson preparation. Yep. 
See, this one's sort of like Dwargan. It seems like he's like replacing somebody, or they just didn't care about the frost magic, and they're like, who's here? Okay, you teach. And we never had a cool looking character like this, at least in Wizard Marleybone. Hmm, I do think we had a couple in, I don't know, Pirate Why, Marleybone? Why, hello there, young wizard. You have the look of a newcomer to Pigswick Academy. Welcome to my laboratory. <laughs> I am Professor Velma Pepper, and I teach the magic of equilibrium. My school represents bringing order to the spiral. You sound like you're trying to be Eartha Kit. The natural world is full of confusion mm -hmm. and disorganization, and thus it is the role of the equilibrium wizard to create harmony. We must use whatever tools we have in this important duty. All are equal, so long as they perform the task at hand. I trust that what I've taught <laughs> you instills a semblance of order to your own worldview. Now, though, I must return to work. Yes, yes, you're summoning dead things over there. Who dares disturb me? Hmm, you must be here for the tournament, eh? Mm -hmm. Another of those tiresome meet the professor's <laughs> tours. Let me introduce myself then. I am Professor Edna Fulogen, and I instruct Pigswick students in spirit magic. Spirit magic concerns the ghostly state that exists after life. We are students of the immaterial world. I'm just cracking my knuckles. I've heard of problems with Professor Malastare back Ooh. at Ravenwood. Maybe his assistant <laughs> Dwargan will be better. Oh, snap. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I forgot that Zeke's down here. Might as well pick it up while we're here. Hey there, little wizard. Fancy little wizard, okay. you here. Looks like you're out to broaden your educational horizons, eh? <laughs> if you got a moment to spare, I'd appreciate a little help. No trouble to you, though. I'm looking for some plants native to these here parts. A species of flower called the wallflowers. They're a shy and retiring sort of flower. They'll hang close to walls throughout <laughs> yes, jokes. all of Wisteria. If you could find them all and return to me when you know where they are, I'd be mighty grateful. Greetings, young wizard. I am Professor Thaddeus okay. Price, Professor of Tempest. Professor! Magic. I suppose you're interested in learning something about Tempest magic, right? You notice also that they all have the school symbol. That they wear it. Isn't that cool? I love that. Tempest magic is about duality do that and hidden in meaning. Wizard like City. the tide. Yes, it's about yes. The all of Zeke quests are bands. Life. The surface is stormy to be sure, but beneath it is dark and quiet, and the waters are deep beyond imagining. Mm -hmm. I gather they teach a slightly different approach at Ravenwood, but I'm technically all of these actually, you know, right. look like professors. He's not wearing it. Maybe that thing around his neck is supposed to be it, but you know. Greetings, it's not. honored guest from Wizard City. I am Professor Anku, your humble servant and guide to Ember Magic. And he's got like a torch or a big Ember match. Ember Magic is about <laughs> warmth and security in the cold his eye, dark though. spiral. <laughs> Ember is like a warm rock go. to stretch out on. See, come on, that's... A, whoa, he totally glitched. Wizards who study ember magic are not very adventuresome and prefer the <laughs> comforts of hearth and home. Ember wizards are crafters, doctors, and cooks, using flame to forge artifacts, treat injuries, or bake cookies. So from <laughs> the ember we can learn much. Better to be safe and patient than to leap into action. I hope that explains things. And if I'm not mistaken, I think that their explanations for their schools are like the opposite of Ravenwood. Stop screwing around. Did the tour of our faculty help repair the inadequacies of your prior education? How dare you. Perhaps when the tournament is over, you can transfer from Ravenwood to Pigswick and really learn something. And you know what? In one of these quests, they do tell us they're going to learn, teach us some of the magic. I'm like, oh no, it's so unfair. I heard that at Ravenwood, they teach you that the source of all magic is a tree. And it's in the center of your school. How awfully convenient that must be. 
Do they really expect you to believe such nonsense? Well, it does talk, you know, just saying it's a portal and stuff. How does At Easter Bunny Kingsbury get around? Academy, we recognize that the source Uses of all the magic express is lane. a fountain, not a tree. And it's right here on campus. Isn't that convenient? If you take a look at the Fount of Magic, you'll see the error of your ways. It's in the center of campus, not far from Why here. Why is she glitching, too? When you're finished, return here and let me know what you've observed. You're a student, so go on. Learn something. <laughs> oh, I love her. She's such a card. You Savage. The we couldn't even breathe. Magic. Looks like any other fountain. Something doesn't add up about this place. <laughs> really? Let's just say uh, you you drink a, what happens when you drink a soda, and the other one happens when you have Did you notice too much Taco Bell. Magical about the fountain? I mean, and I was suggesting you saw how it must be the, the, one true the levels of it. Of magic. I'm like, hmm, I wonder what happens when you turn it up to a hundred. It's pretty awesome. You know, we heard from Headmaster Ombrose that you were Ombrose. good at solving problems. Headmaster Ombre. To put that to use. Hombre. Go and speak with Captain O'Hare outside the gate to Pegasus yes. Place. Tell him I sent you and that you're Finally there to help. Finally get to some stuff. 